solar panels and poverty reduction. How do these two things relate to one another? I guess that this might be the question that every one of you will ask when you first see my topic. So let me tell you about this. The way solar panels work is called photovoltaics, and I'll abbreviate it as PV here. PV can help with poverty reduction. We, Nanjing Youth Innovators, are a team formed by friends who have the same interest. How to generate electricity in a more environmentally friendly way. We focused our point on PV, and we visited a very famous county um, who, that uses photovoltaics to reduce its poverty situations, Daming County of Hubei Province. And let me explain those things to you a bit further. First of all, I want to mention the advantages of PV. It has a very long service life with about 20 years before it needs to be re replaced or renewed. Also, the carbon emission it produces is very small. So it is very environmentally friendly. The third thing is that um, it has a great potential because it is not very popularized throughout our country. So we can see that it is a very promising industry. So let's begin with the farmers because they're the first group of people you may think of when mentioning the poverty situations. There are mainly two ways for farmers to reduce their poverty, and the first way is through the crops. We know that most crops grown in greenhouses, right? And the greenhouses get the sunlight from the sky, and they can keep the inside warm. And that's how the greenhouse gases work to make the earth warm, right? So for the greenhouses, we can pave the solar panels on their roofs. After we do this, the solar panels can be up here and get the sunlight and um, we can control the light intensity and heat inside those greenhouses. And then the environments inside those greenhouses can be used to um, specialize for a single kind of crop or fruit. When we were visiting, um, some of the farmers there sent us um, the fruit there that are grown in those kind of greenhouses. And after we tasted them, they're of no difference to the common fruit we ate. And after we and we also brought them, brought some of them back to Nanjing, and shared them with our friends. And they said that they're very good. They taste very delicious. And the second way for the farmers is through the livestock they own. They're not as direct as what crops may do, but we can still see the benefits. As in this picture, we can pave the solar panels above the pastures, and we can have the cows and sheep browsing the grass below on the pastures. And like this is a picture taken from a higher altitude. Um, we can see that the solar panels are constructed about four to five meters above the ground and the livestock are eating the grass down here and those two don't interrupt with each other and when those shepherds can um, have their sheep have fun on the pastures, the panels can absorb the sunlight and provide electricity for the households within the proximity. Similarly, it is a very good idea to pave the solar panels on the roofs of the sheds that domesticate other kinds of animals, like pigs or chicken, so that all the space can be made the best use of. And that's how the profit and benefit is made for those farmers. And then, the other, group, the other major group of people are the residents. For the residents, there are two methods, actually I want to mention here, there are methods um, to help them to get more profit and benefit. First of all, the crop, the cost can be greatly reduced. I mean, how much do you pay for the electric bills each year? Thousands of yuan, right? I mean, my parents often complain about this because it's very high, but if you apply PV and solar panels to your houses, the only three parts are those three. Installment, maintenance, and 
the regular bills you need to pay for, to the government for connecting to the grid. And I want to compare this cost and the cost of using fossil fuels to generate electricity. And the span will be 20 years because the service age of solar panels is 20 years. And within this span, we can see that when these three parts add up, it is much less than um, you need to use fossil fuels for 20 years. And so that's how the cost is reduced for those households in those towns and counties. Then, how can they get their profit? They can sell electricity to others. Because in those places, like in those rural areas, the sunlight is very sufficient. And so when the solar panels are used to generate electricity, there will be electricity that may not be used up. And so this is the part where surplus electricity comes up. And then, in order not to waste those energies, they can sell the electricity to others privately without involving the national grid. Um, it is very lucrative and it can help them earn a lot of money, but um, I used to think that um, we can sell my surplus electricity to my neighbor, for example. But after I interviewed the officials there, I learned that this is not quite the case. In fact, within the proximity and within the same community, the environment conditions are very similar. For example, if I, if my household have surplus electricity, then my neighbor would have um, electricity left over that cannot be used up. And so does my neighbor's neighbor. So that is not a good way uh, for us to save energy or to generate our profit. And then, large businesses are a great option. Because if they use fossil fuels, it will be a large amount of carbon emission uh, produced and they are sent to the atmosphere. But if they use solar panels, the electricity generated will not be enough for them to run their machines and different techniques. So, they can gather the electricity sent by others. And when this happened, uh, this is actually a win-win situation because the residents can get profit and the large businesses can get the amount of electricity they want. But what I have just said are just, and thus their income can be increased. But what I've just said are just the um, prospectives and expectations uh, for this industry, and problems still exist. The first problem is the waste of surplus electricity. Although I've just mentioned that this is very profitable and this can save a lot of energy, few people do it. So it's very important to promote this idea. The second problem is that the process of recycling used components is not standardized, which may cause a um, increased carbon emission or pollution to the natural resources. And the third problem is that when we use the solar panels to generate electricity, uh, the electricity will be unstable and will be discrete. So when it is connected to the national grid, it will have a negative impact on the machines and techniques of the national grid. But luckily, I think that we're on the way. Earth is our home, and it is our duty to protect it. And if you want to make a contribution to it, try PV, because it is very space efficient, and you can save a lot of money from it. You can also get some benefits from it. So try PV if you want to protect Earth. Thank you.